Now let's look at the arbitrage opportunity that you can have if the interest rate parity doesn't hold. So now suppose we have dollar interest rate 5% and the pounds interest rate 8% and spot rate is $1.80. And the forward rate is $1.78. Now assume that the, the we can borrow up to a million dollars. So if you borrow a million dollars, then for pounds, that's going to be 555 and 556 pounds because uh, the spot rate is $1.80. Then the forward rate should be actually, see, Now, we have forward rate equals to spot rate times one plus i dollar divided by one plus i pounds. And re, if we rearrange this for one, one plus i dollar, and that will be say f divided by s times one plus i pounds, right? So this one. So that should be one plus i dollar, actually. But if you calculate this, it will be 1.6068, which is not equals to 1.05. So interest rate parity is violated, which means one plus i interest rate is actually, so this is a market one is, lower than the one with parity. So with this condition, now we can have actually the arbitrage opportunity. The first, we can borrow $1 million. And because you, you borrow $1 million, you basically have to pay back 1 million times 1 plus 5%, right? So that's cash flow zero and one. Now you buy pound spot, which means you pay 1 million to buy 555,556 pounds, and then you lend this money. Because you lend this money, you're gonna receive 555,556 pounds plus one plus, I believe, is it eight percent, right? So it's eight percent, and that will be six hundred thousand pounds. Now you can sell these six hundred pounds. Um, actually, to cover this, cover this, you sell six hundred thousand pound four to cover these payments to hatch against this. Then. The forward rate is now here 1.78. So with 600 pounds, you have $1,068,000, right? So eventually, no cash flow occur initially. And then next period, if you total some of these four cash flow, then you make $18,000. So no investment and you have $18,000. This is arbitrage opportunity. This is free money. So if IRP is violated, there is a way to get the arbitrary opportunity. This is called covered interest arbitrage. Now let's look at the uncovered interest rate parity. Now the forward rate, what is the forward rate? Forward rate is actually expected future spot exchange rate, right? So we believe that this will be the spot rate 
if it is different, then there's some cash flow coming in, coming out. But at least like today, if you get the full rent next year, then it, we believe that that will be the expect, expected spot, uh, future spot rate that time. So, full rent equals to expected of spot rate next period now. And with condition, this is condition, with under the condition that there's some information, this is uh, information right now. So there's actually some description between the next period spot rate met forward rate because this information may change. Okay. So eventually if you rewrite this, then the spot rate will be one plus four in One, one plus foreign exchange rate divided by one plus domestic interest rate times forward rate, right? Right, because we starting from the forward rate equals to spot rate times one plus dollar divided by one plus pounds. So we can rewrite this spot rate equals to forward rate times one plus now five pounds divided by one plus dollar. And the, if the forward rate is expected of next year's spot rate and under this information, then this is a spot rate. So this expectation may be the key player actually when we determine the exchange rate, okay? expectation. When people expect if exchange rate go up, then, so if the people expect that the exchange rate go up, then the forward rate goes up. That's why information matter, information includes the news events. So exchange rate behavior will be driven by news events. So if they receive the news continuously, they're going to update every expectation continuously, which means that the exchange rate changes actually continuously. So exchange in the rate is not the one that just the fixed determinations, it actually varies by time because news is updated, news events is updated continuously. So by definition, news events are unpredictable making forecasting future exchange rate, it's very difficult, very difficult. So when forward, ex forward exchange rate F is replaced by the expected future spot rate, expected spot rate T plus one, then this interest difference is it's close, it's not exactly, but it's close to expected exchange rate changes, which is this one. So interest rate change changes between the pair of countries is close to, it's not exactly close, but it's close to expected range rate of change in exchange rate. So interest changes are very close to ex exchange rate changes, actually. This is called uncovered interest rate parity. This is called uncovered interest rate parity. 